Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator to create shapes and um, as an example I'm going to show you how to create um, grass or clumps of grass that could be used in something like a game or maybe an animation. Um, so you'll find the pen tool over here on the toolbar and with the pen tool you can select a fill color and you can select a stroke color. I've already selected a fill color and um, the fill color I'm using is actually a gradient um, which goes from dark green to light green and so I'm going to grab the pen tool and basically you can click there's a few ways that you can use the pen tool so you can just click individually like this um, so I'm just clicking once here once here once here and you could get a shape like that with just it's just made up of straight lines with different points joining those straight lines together okay so that's one way of doing it I'm just going to press Command Z and the big Control Z on a Windows computer just to undo that. The other way that you can draw with the pen tool is you can click and you can hold down the mouse to draw out a line like that and then you can basically get um, this arc swinging around here and then click and let go. And so basically you draw, um, you click and drag and hold a draw a bit of a line going that way you let go and then you click a point over here and it will draw an arc like that. So I'll undo that and show that again. So I click and hold down the mouse and choose how far I want this line to swing around and then I go and choose where I want this arc to go to. Just like that. Okay? That's one way of doing it. And the other way of doing it is just clicking once and then clicking on the other end but holding down the mouse and swinging around like that to get a um, curved line or an arc like that. Okay, so you can click and hold if you want to get uh, curved lines <clears throat> or you can just click individually like that if you want straight lines. Okay, anyway, I'm going to delete all of this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, a clump of grass. So I'm going to click once and then just click and hold to get a bit of a, uh, a bit of a curve going there. And then I'll click down here. Okay, I'm going to get a bit of a straighter line going up there. And then I'll swing that around, go up here, swing around like that. Okay, so I might undo that last bit there. Didn't get that how I want it to be. All right, so it's not perfect, but there we go. We've got um, something that could represent a clump of grass. I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'm actually, I'm not very happy with this section here. So what I can do to fix this up is I can grab the direct selection tool, this white arrow here, and I can click on lines that I want to um, change and I can click on different points. So these points here are called anchors, these little squares. And so I can click and if I want to drag this out, I can drag it out to move it a little bit in that direction. If I want to change this curve here, I can swing these handles here. So I can make it a bit wider or I could pull it up and make it a bit skinnier like that. Okay, I'll undo that because I'm not happy with that. Or I could pull it down here as well. So I could get something like that. Alright, so you could click on different anchors and you can actually click on the lines as well and just drag the lines individually. Um, so I could pull this over if I wanted to. Or I could pull it back that way. Okay, I could pull this out a bit and maybe pull that back over that way and make this a little bit narrower at the top there. So all sorts of different things that you can do with the direct, direct selection tool. Clicking on different anchor points uh, or different parts of the line and just dragging it around just to get the kind of shape that you want. You can also add extra anchor points. So say I wanted to bend this line here, so it's fairly straight. I might want to bend it in a little bit. 
um, I could grab the pen tool and I could click and I could I can see that the mouse cursor is showing a little plus there so I can click and add another anchor point and I can grab the direct selection tool click on that anchor point and then drag that in and then I could bend that bit there if I wanted to as well so you can add a whole heap of anchor points <clears throat> and then click and drag those anchor points like that okay and if you want to get rid of an anchor point you just go back to the pen tool and you move the pen tool over an anchor point and click the little minus button and it will get rid of that anchor point just like that okay i'll undo that because i think i might leave that anchor point there so if i wanted to get rid of this anchor point here i could just click and now it's gone all right so um what i'll do is i'll use this clump of grass and with a lot of things that you do in illustrator you can basically work with the pen tool and you can work with things like the shape builder tool and you can get a lot done just by using those basic tools. So if I want grass down the bottom here running across the bottom of my um, drawing, I could go and copy that and paste it. So command C to copy and command V to paste. We'll use the control button if you're on Windows. You can also get that from the edit menu, just like most other programs. And so I could just keep pasting this around I could right click and go to transform reflect and then just flip it vertically like that so it's a little bit different just mix and match and I could do a bit of rotating as well so I can move my mouse cursor to the corner just flip that bit around a bit just like that and now I could go and select all of that and I could copy that or I could right click and group it and then Move that around, I might copy that and paste it here like that and do that again. This time I might right click, transform, reflect. I might shrink this one down a bit on the sides and maybe just rotate a bit like that, move it down. So lots that you can do with just a few basic tools. Okay, there we go. So I could spend a lot more time on this grass so I could add um, more layering here and just to make it look a bit more three-dimensional. Um, I could add some texture and I could add a lot more detail to that. But you can see that by using just the pen tool you can achieve quite a lot and you can make much more interesting shapes than just by using the basic shape tools or the line tool. Um, so you might make some shapes using just the uh, pencil tool um, or the brush tool, um, but I find that I, love, I make a lot of shapes with the pen tool and then use the direct selection tool to modify those shapes as I need to. Anyway, that's um, basic introduction to the pen tool as well as working with the direct selection tool. Thanks for watching.